Okay then guys, what is going on? Cloud plays here and today we're looking at the Bandit's Curved Sword. These weapons, although are rusty as hell, cause an absolute whirlwind of pain. And today we're going to be showing you guys exactly how you can get them. These are probably one of my favourite swords to use right now, especially using them as a dual wield, as they have some, well, really interesting collaborations when it comes to jumping attacks. We all know that that seems to be the meta right now now so before we get into it if you haven't already slap that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it would be greatly appreciated make sure you check out our sponsor advanced gg the link is down in the description if you use code cloud it will get you a cheeky 10 percent off the number one clinically proven energy supplement on the market get better at gaming right now Anywho, with that being said, let's jump into it. So, these weapons right here are pretty damn disgusting. They have some really, really good weapon arts, and although they only have a spinning attack as its original Ash of War, you can actually alter those to whatever it is that you want. So, for me right now, I've actually got one of them on Seppuku, and the other one has got Royal Knight's Resolve on them, just because I like to have that alteration. So, what can you do with these weapons? You have the original standardized slice and slash. We've got the heavy attack, which is pretty damn impressive. The longer you hold it, it will cause a bigger output. And if you spam it, it will conjunction into two separate attack abilities. On top of that, we have got the dual akimbo ones, where if you dual wield and hit them together, you do what can only be described as an absolutely disgusting combination of slicing with these weapons. On top of that, we have the general jump and slash for one, which goes from the side across, so it causes quite a decent area of effect damage. And on top of that, with the dual wield, you can also get in a double slice up, so it goes up and back down. So it's the crossover slices, and they cause quite a lot of damage if you want to utilize those with, say, the claw talisman or the rotten winged sword insignia. This, for me, is a very viable option, depending on what it is that you want to utilize them with. You can really do some damage with these, considering the seppuku really causes a decent effect on them. So, where it is that you can get it, it's actually pretty damn simple. We want to head over to the map and be going right down to the bottom of the map, just under Limgrave, where we got the Church of Pilgrimage. Underneath there, we are going to be heading in and we are spawning at this grey site right here. Now, this is an easier area to get to. You can pretty much just travel it all the way down from this area right here. I would say you can get from this site, but it is a bit of a nightmare to get from there. So, if you want to make your way up to here get to the church pilgrimage and we can start the farm very very simply so when you do start here and you spawn in at the church of pilgrimage you are going to essentially want to spend quite a bit of time getting yourself sorted out and there are some things that you can utilize to make this a hell of a lot easier first off the silver tier mask this is going to help you guys quite a lot with the discovery rating as you can see if we take this bad boy off it drops down at about a eight discovery on that so that is a big move if you want to add that in on top of that we have also got a silver scarab this right here raises the discovery by well as you can see in the right hand side an absolute bloody shed ton so make sure that you have got that on it as well and on top of that if you also want to use a silver pickled foul foot which i would say i can show you right now it's a silver one of these but i have used them all farming over the last few days to make sure i can generate as many videos for you guys as possible these things will help boost your discovery rate by a gain around 50 and it also helps out a fair bit when you're trying to farm for things. So with that being said, let's jump into it. So once you are at the Church of Pilgrimage, you want to look for the broken wall on the far side. Going over that will take you into a miniature graveyard and you will see this one ad that has these weapons. This is the one that you want to be farming. Now I do recommend not fast traveling, especially if you're using the Silver Pickle Falfoot as it does eradicate all you usage from that whatsoever so you want to be running over there taking it out running back going to the gray site and resetting that movement by resetting it it means that you can consistently farm this guy and as far as i'm aware there is not many if any other of this guy anywhere else on the map there is a very minimalistic chance that you will ever find this weapon in any location bar right here and they are definitely worth getting your hands on. So you just want to rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. The drop rate on these are relatively low, although not extremely low. I managed to get two in maybe about an hour, just 
so for an hour. So it does mean that this is still a viable option and is not completely overwhelming that it's not enjoyable to get done. This is well worth it though. The weapons are amazing and hopefully you guys do enjoy them. Let me know in the comment section any other weapons you want me to cover and we will get you guys the fastest farming routes for them. Thank you very much again for watching guys. Appreciate all your faces. If you haven't already, like, subscribe and I will see you in the clouds.